What's going on? My name's Evan and welcome to my channel. I had the opportunity to pick up a 2021 Vetus Nucleus VR 29er that was just released about two weeks ago and I am so excited to build it for you guys. I have a Schwinn Axum that I've been upgrading for the last two months. It's one of the best budget hardtails on the market. Whenever there's a conversation of the best budget hardtail, the Vetus Nucleus is also brought up. The thing that enticed me most about the Vetus Nucleus is it comes in multiple sizes. I picked up the Vetus Nucleus VR in a medium because I'm 5'9", I think that'll fit me better. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get this built up. All right, the Vetus Nucleus is built up, and I was actually really surprised. This bike is pretty together right out of the box. Tires even have air in them. I think I might even let a little bit of air out. Vetus has thought of everything. They even provided touch-up paint, a bell. They have reflectors, I already threw those away. Replacement uh, cable holders, zip ties. Um, I believe these are frame protectors. I really like how the chainstay has a has a protector on it already. I'm just gonna adjust the PSI on the fork to my weight. Now that the bike is built, let's stare at it. I'm here in Goodyear, Arizona, and I'm taking my maiden voyage on the Vetus Nucleus. All right, just got done with my first ride with the Vetus Nucleus, and I am very impressed with this bike. This bike is trail ready right out of the box. I do wish that it had a dropper post, but it is internally routed for a dropper post. This seat definitely was getting in the way. The stock seat post is extremely long, so I couldn't drop the seat all the way down like I wanted to. The 2021 Vetus Nucleus comes stock with a one by group set. The Vetus Nucleus VR, comes with a box four group set. And I was actually really impressed with the eight speed. It shifted very smooth, no adjustments needed. The back derailleur is a clutch derailleur and I didn't have any chain drops or even hear any chain slap at all. I was a little worried when I ordered this bike that the Tektro hydraulic brakes were gonna be a little bit underpowered. I've seen some pretty bad reviews about the Tektro brakes but after the pads got seated, I had no issues with the brakes at all. And I would say that they compare pretty nicely to the Shimano MT200. What I especially like is the riding position. I felt that the riding position was very natural and the nuke proof bars that come stock on the bike, they're 760 millimeters wide with a little bit of rise and they felt really, really good. The bike features WTB ST i30 wheel set, 32 hole quick release front and back and these rims look wide which has a lot of potential for having a wider tire if the frame allows it. This bike out of the box, without the pedals, weighs 
30.7 pounds. I got this bike for $650 plus $80 shipping, which is an amazing deal. Probably one of the best, if not the best hardtail on the market right out of the box. This bike comes stock with an SR Suntour XCR32 air fork. And I would have liked a little bit more damping, but it's still an air fork on a $650 bike, which is pretty impressive. And I'm pretty sure that the Vetus branded hubs are sealed, which compared to other budget hardtails on the market, they don't have a lot of sealed bearings, which is problematic. And when there's not a sealed bearing, it needs to be replaced if you're serious about mountain biking. I can say that I highly recommend this bike. It is a very capable bike, climbing, descending. If you have any recommendations of what I should do with this Vetus Nucleus, or if you've had one in the past, make sure you comment down below. I'm gonna be upgrading this bike just like I did with the Schwinn Axum and making some very wise upgrades to try to keep it under $1,000. And I'm sure one of them will be a dropper post. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.